Hello everyone, I wanted to do a quick tutorial on using some null controls. Uh, I use this method all the time, it helps me a lot, so I want to just share it with you guys and hopefully it helps you as well. Um, just to show, um, show it working, I created this quick scene of just, um, just some basic geometry, circles and grids that were just extruded out and some material applied to them. Um, just so to show you how to make these controls, I'm just going to press tab in here and type in null to create a null object. And here you'll notice that it's blank, it's, not, it's just a null, there's nothing to it. But uh, in this little gear icon here, you could go to edit parameter interface. And don't be overwhelmed with how many things are in here. Um, all we want to do right now is just find a float value, which is just a decimal number. I use this one a lot drag it to this window here and there's two areas where you want to put a name this one is the name for Houdini it's not a name you'll see but Houdini needs it to know how to store the value so we're gonna put extrude amount all lowercase here and for label we could put extrude amount with spaces with capitals or anything we want and in range I'm just gonna put 0 to 5 and that will just control the range of our slider but you'll always be able to put a number higher or lower than that if you wish and I'm just gonna accept that and now as you can see our null object has this little control extrude amount it defaults to 0 and it'll slide all the way to 5 but again you could put 50 here if you wish and it will accept it for now I'm gonna leave it at default and going to right click on it and go copy parameter and this is how we link it to our extrude so in our first extrude we're gonna click on poly extrude and in distance we're gonna right click in here and go paste relative references and as you can see it'll, it links it to this null and this value of extrude amount press enter it'll go down to zero on the extrude because that is the value of our null but now as you can see we have a control for it and I'm gonna go to the second poly extrude and I'm gonna paste it paste relative references in here as well but here we're gonna add a divide by two at the end of our expression that way when we modify this amount this one is always extruded by half the amount this one will and they will move together with this one control and now on the third object I'm gonna do the same and then I'm gonna go divide by four now all three of those values are in this side this control of the null object very quick very easy and I use this all the time this also works for materials and I love using this for materials so I'm going to show that really quick I'm going to go to, I'm going to click our null I'm going to go edit parameter interface and we're just going to drag another float into here and we're going to call this saturation amount and we're going to put a range from 0 to 2 accept so now we have a second control on this null and inside the mat net where my materials are I've just created three basic principal shaders and each one has a color constant where normally you'd probably have a texture here so that's red green and blue and here I'm just gonna put a color correction node like that and drop it in between uh, between these two and what we want to do is go back to the geometry go to the null and on saturation amount we want to right click and copy parameter now we can go into the matnet onto our color correction node and in saturation we're gonna paste relative reference just like that now you can see this links back to the null and will allow us to control it and for all these other colors we could just holding alt we could drag this color correction out and then copy it to here 
drag it out, holding Alt, and then copy it to here. Now, all three of our colors have a saturation value that is linked to our null saturation amount. So now we go back up to the geo, and on the null object, we can control the materials, the extrude and the material saturation. And I'm just going to show that really quick in the render. So this is with a saturation of zero and an extrude amount of 0.882. And it's a bit slow here in Mantra, but I want to use Mantra just to show uh, what most of you would have. And if I drag saturation to a bit higher, And this is really good for look development because you could quickly set up some controls instead of having to adjust each material manually. And this will just let you have like global controls for a lot of the objects. And I really like this feature in Houdini and I hope you do as well. Thank you for watching.